Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I will be showing you the bossing uh, teams that I used in the Iron Will or in the Sonic Blitz event versus the Trendy Guile and versus the Chun Li boss. I'm sorry for being late on the videos. I didn't want to do any uh, bossing teams and show people the bossing teams that I'm using. Uh, not for any specific point, but just because I didn't build the best units uh, for this boss. I'm a little bit behind. I'm saving for events. I don't want to drop all my gold or all my diamonds and upgrading and doing things. But uh, I will be showcasing units and teams that will give you, you put you in the top 10 and put you in the top 3 probably. Because if you build them, they will work for you. And it will 100% guarantee you in the top 50. And in the first boss... I used similar teams and it got me into the top 10 and the second uh, one I'm not pushing and trying that much I'm still at rank 14 I will try uh, before like one hour or two hours I know uh, there's like seven or eight hours left to this boss but I will share it with you because uh, you were asking me and uh, I don't want not to deliver so first of all let's talk about the first boss I'll show you just the teams that I uh, did and the rotations. So I used the Dalsim team. It's AOE, so AOE is king and it will help a lot. So Dalsim did almost 700 million uh, damage. The normal rotation, which is uh, Fashion Blanca, uh, C1 from Dalsim, Fashion Blanca or Summer Yang. Summer Yang with his C2 will give you combo meter, then Bison. Do this twice or one time and then use the Kami and Virgil EX and, draw and uh, start with... Uh, with Dalsim with no uh, uh, usage for your combo meter. This is why it always helps and I will show you my rotation on chun -Li boss. It's also the same. And uh, the second lineup I used chun -Li for AOE. I could use something else but I used her just because she deals AOE damage because my uh, fa uh, Flame Adon or Fire Adon wasn't online because I had him at SS so or S plus at SS he works but I had him at S plus so it, it, I couldn't use him here. And I dealt the most of the damage uh, with this lineup. Uh, Chun-Li works on AoE because her super deals a lot of damage and penetrates the defense. And her C3 is semi-AoE uh, because she hits with the first two attacks as AoE. Uh, the third lineup, Guile, Guile and Bizenki. Both of them deal, uh, deal AoE damage. Now, Beast doesn't deal the best damage in the world, but 23 million is better than nothing. You can use any uh, tag or trigger unit that will, could help you on the lineup. And I used uh, my Gorma Galaken. If you don't have Gorma Galaken and you have a copy of him or a copy of Ivorayu, both works and will give you the same results. Actually, this is this was one of my worst results with the Viper team because I hit the 400 million before. And uh, this got me the best uh, result because uh, Dalsim team popped up and chun -Li team broke for finally the 110 million that I always accumulate. This is how I did it on the first boss. Now the second boss which is this Chun-Li and now I'm not struggling but I'm at rank 14 I didn't do so much retries I did auto most of the time and then I did a manual and got me to rank 14 uh, the same lineup I was using with lower skills two days earlier with, when Chun-Li started it, it, I was in the top 10 so this 100% will land you in the top 10 probably the top 3 if you not rank 1 with the same strategy if there's no much whales on your uh, uh, server and I'll explain why First lineup, I'm using Dalsim. Dalsim is always good. Uh, this is a single target, so you can replace Dalsim and put Trendy Kami here. You can use uh, Oni, you can use uh, Trendy Guile. Trendy Guile does insane damage here. Uh, so Jinun Obuki, Fashion uh, Ken, uh, anybody who's a single target damage dealer, heavy damage dealer, you can replace Dalsim and use a lineup similar to this, but with them, and it will help you and it will give you the most of the buffs. Summer Elena, I would recommend always to play Summer Elena instead of uh, playing uh, Summer Yang. Why? Because Summer Elena is a trigger and she buffs. If she is ha maxed for you, it will give you more uh, results here. Uh, Goken, use him always. I don't have Goken. So Summer Elena and Goken are not available on my account. Fashion uh, or Flame Chun is not available. This is why my lineups are dealing less damage. Flame Chun with him or with Flame Adon, with Fire Adon will give you the highest damage. Dalsim and uh, Fire Adon with Flame Chun. Always remember that she will give you the highest number. It will double or triple your numbers. So the lineup that I'm using here is this exactly. And the EX moves that I'm using, I'm using Kami and Vega EX move. 
it will help a lot because it will not I will not inflict damage so I will not die from Chun Li giving uh, hitting me. Plus uh, it will give me a rotation so I can stack up with Dalsim. Normal free to play standard units. I'm telling you the free to play you can always tweak them. Uh, the second lineup and as you see I have two characters at SS or SS plus. Uh, I'm using Gormagalakan here, not Eva Ryu. You can use Eva Ryu; it's also working. And uh, Flame uh, Fire Adon is dealing the most of the damage. I'm using an uh, S rank athlete Chun Li. She works from A till S plus as normal with the buffing and uh, decreasing the damage taken with her Vortex when you use her C1. Abel uses his C2. I have six out of six cards on him. He's plus twenty for me. So he gives shields even on his C2, he will provide shields for the, my lineup, so I will keep surviving. The shields will transfer a little bit by a little bit. So this is great, uh, Abel is doing great here. You can always replace Athlete Chun Li with Summer Elena here uh, and start your combo uh, normally and remove or, or replace uh, Gormagala Ken with Summer Elena. More heals, more sustainability and more buffing. Uh, the rotation is uh, Flame Adon or Fire Adon, Athlete Chun Li. Uh, Abel then fire Adon and uh, of course he deals the most of the damage at SS I have him plus 30 of course I, I got him to plus 30 today and this is why he popped off without the plus 30 he was dealing 200 million damage which is reasonable and very nice for free to play players or new players who started on new servers which will help you a lot now the third lineup I'm using Elena as you see here I don't have that much buffers but because I'm using Evil Ryu on this lineup uh, Elena will heal me and will keep my lineup sustaining and I'm using uh, Yang and I'm using uh, Poison, normal Poison on uh, Eva Ryu. Now this is not the best but I'm using her on him because uh, he will hit the target. The target will have shock because of Viper, because of her C3. And she will unleash another, uh, uh, I think the silence one but you never silence the boss. And it will deal a little bit of damage. I forgot what its name, the Crescent Wave I think. That's it. So my rotation is... Uh, I start with Eva Ryu twice, once or twice, you can start whatever you want, but twice is preferably so you can reduce the combo meter as much as possible for the enemies. Whenever you have a lot of Satsui no Iki on Eva Ryu and he un uh, unleashes his C1 by trigger, he will remove more combo meter. If it's 5 stacks, he will remove half of it. If it's 7 to 10, you, he will remove most of the combo meter. So Eva Ryu, Elena, uh, Zangief, then Viper twice. Then you go Viper, Elena, and give them Viper until the end of the battle. The EX moves that I'm using is the new EX move. Uh, I don't have it unlocked, but we unlocked it by the event. It's crazy. Uh, without it, the damage is reduced a little bit. With it, the damage is insane. Capitalize on it. It gives you insane damage and buffs you a lot. Uh, I'm using anything else to fill it up with the Ibuki one. You can replace the Ibuki one, put it in another lineup. And I'm using the Summer Elena EX move just for healings. I should use probably the Tanuki in the third lineup. Third lineup is a Kami lineup. Now Kami delivers as free to play and you didn't have uh, to pull divination. You don't have limited characters. Kami is a single target beast. We all know about that. And let's check her damage. 235 million damage by her own. It means she's a replacement if you don't have these characters. And I don't have these characters. I can play uh, Witch Jewelry on her. But my lineup and my setup is not set and I don't have a great C3. So with the C3 of Rose, I'm dealing between 190 million to 200 million. But Kami does even better with a little bit. So the rotation is Kami, uh, Street Poison, Rose, then Kami. And if somebody dies, you have E Honda. He uses C1 and C3 so you can capitalize. Uh, Rose can use a super and C3 if Kami dies. But I'm using Witch Jury on Kami. As you see here, she buffs her. And because uh, Rose is ranged with her auto attacks, she will gain Saber if you drop Guile on her. Uh, I'm using Chun Li on Fire Adon. Probably you need to use somebody else, but I'm trying to use my highest characters to get the highest uh, damage. Let's go and check the uh, rotations. This is the first uh, uh, fight and I will show you rotation. So as soon as the battle starts, I start with uh, Fashion Blanca. Because the timing of this battle requires me to start with him, I wait until... Uh, uh, Dalsim uses 5 stacks. When it's 5 stacks on Dalsim, I use his C1. Then I wait until the end of the combo, I use the C2 of uh, Summer Yang. Now, I don't use the C3 of Bison. Why? If I use the C3 of Bison, he will explode and go to the back of the line. And uh, Chun-Li will corner me in the back. And this will be so hard to contest this. Because 
When she uses her kicks, she will deal AoE to my team and she will wipe me. Again, I use the EX of Kami and Vega as you saw here. I started with Valsim, C1 from Fashion Blanca, C2 from uh, uh, Summer Yang, and then C3 from Valsim. And then I start with Fashion Blanca, C1 from Valsim, so do you see the rotation? Then C2 from uh, Summer Yang, C3 from uh, Dalsim. Then I start back to back, Dalsim, uh, Summer Yang, Fashion Blanca, Dalsim, and I do the same until they all die. I time my Virgil EX. You can use Crazy Potato here; it saves you. I did it before. Uh, I was using it and not the Virgil EX, but Virgil EX is more consistent. And of course, if I did the C3 of uh, Dalsim here, I would break the 600 million, but I couldn't. And in the end, this was uh, the best result that I got so far on this lineup. I will try more, it will give me better scores. Second lineup, Flame Aedon or Fire Aedon. Uh, just great, great unit overall. If he was uh, with the 6 out of 6 cars, uh, I would probably break 700 million with him. And let's go and check how much damage he does. So I accumulate combo meter here. Uh, I let it go to plus uh, 3 combo meter. Yeah, so I can go back to back, back to back with my units and deal the most of the damage because I'm using Athlete Chun Li to buff me and I need to capitalize on every single vortex on the battlefield. So I start with Flame Aedon, uh, Summer uh, Athlete Chun Li, then Able, then Flame Aedon. No chill, there's no chill. I just back to back, back to back until they all die. And Able is kind of impossible to kill here by the <laughs> by the boss, but I was I was not expecting a uh, Able to survive that much. Actually, uh, his, when I upgraded him to plus 20, it helped a lot. When uh, I have his 6 out of 6, it helped massively. As you see, we're half through in the damage. Uh, and uh, Flame or Fire Aedon is ramping up a lot. We cornered her in the corner and she's in the fire. She's in the wall, taking the, uh, as much damage as possible. And then I use uh, Flame Aedon, Able, then Athlete Chun Li, then Flame Able, uh, Flame uh, or Fire uh, Aedon. Just not... To give them the shield so everybody will not die from her uh, super. And uh, I think I could have played it better. I didn't need to use the C1 of Abel. Just use his C2 and the C1 of Athlete Chun Li. It will give you the best result. Yeah, and this was uh, the run for uh, uh, Fire Aedon. Unbelievable great unit. When I when he was released and everybody were like, Oh, he, he's good, not that good. And I said he's broken and he's the second best damage dealer for bosses. I, weren't, I wasn't lying. Even without testing, reading his kit was insane. I tested him because I didn't want to check. I didn't want it to be like the normal Aedon, which is his kit looks insane and he's completely trash. Last lineup, my favorite character as uh, when I started the game, which is Kami. I, a little bit, I accumulate combo meter and here I don't want to accumulate it so much because Kami takes so damn long to do her spells. This is the only downside of using Kami because she takes a lot of time because of the spin kick. Yet it gives you a lot of damage, so I don't care. I started at two combo meter. Kami, look at the spin kick. Uh, uh, then street poison, rose, then Kami. Kami does a lot of damage and she wraps up as much as you have armor break on the enemies, as much as damage she output. Look at the buffs from Rose. Just insane unit Rose. I have her at plus 30 and she gives destiny uh, cards and turrets. To all of your units and this will keep you alive until the end of the battle i have the heals i have the breath of rage i have the uh, drones this will help me to get combo meter if i run of our combo meter but the problem is that uh even rose can generate with me because uh we go low hp she procs her passive and i get more combo meter when she procs uh, when i take damage and then she heals me and i revive which jury the lifesteal look, Kami became healthy again. This is how strong the lifesteal on Kami is. Because single target and she deals insane single target damage. So she heals fully. Uh, just a great uh, combo using Witch Jury on top of Kami. Now she died here. We couldn't lifesteal the damage that we're taking. And the time ended on a relatively good note. And that was the highest damage that I did so far. Of course, uh, my point with Dalsim is 700 million, here is 500 million, I push myself to maximum boundaries. And with Viper, some runs are 450 million, some runs 500, some runs 350. So it depends on my crit on her and if I can hit the enemy as fast as possible while having the shock to reapply the shock. Because shock is what will give me damage. And Kami is consistent with the same damage almost all the time. 
these were the runs that I did. Now, even if this boss dropped, the second boss is Athlete chun -Li, will take even less damage if she applies Vortex, but, which I expect. And she deals insane damage. She doesn't gain combo meter as much as the normal chun -Li, but she deals more damage than her. So you can use the same lineups on her. I'll be making a video about her. I'm sorry because I recorded it at rank 14. I'm really busy with some stuff. I'll try to make my best just to make uh, more videos and send, uh, do that. And uh, many people were asking me about the best lineup, uh, the best damage dealing bossing lineup that I was talking in the tier list about with uh, Goken, Summer Elena, uh, uh, Flame Chan, and Fire Adon or Dalsim. I will be showing that, I will be make a video separately just for you to see the rotation and how it's timed versus any boss in the game, it will be the highest number, it's the meta team. So I will be showing the meta team for this in the next previous video. The next video. Uh, I wanted to make previously a video but uh, I didn't have time, I didn't have the units to showcase them, probably I'll do it later. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching, and as always, stay frosty. Peace! Time to fly, time to fly, never give up, we won't retreat, the ones who stay.